Hello, uh, my name is Miss Helena Burden. I'm one of the urological consultants at um, the Bristol Urological Institute. Um, I'll be looking after you um, during your stay together with a team of um, my fellow consultants and nurses um, who will look after you during your bladder cancer treatment. Roughly 10,000 people are diagnosed with bladder cancer every year. It's the seventh most common type of bladder cancer in the UK and three to four times more common in men than women. Risk factors for bladder cancer include an increase in age, smoking and exposure to some industrial chemicals. Bladder cancer is a growth of abnormal tissue um, on the lining of your bladder wall. If the tumour is contained within the lining of the bladder, it's called non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. If the tumour invades into the bladder muscle, it's called muscle invasive bladder cancer. This is the less common of the two, uh, with 80% of bladder cancers being non-invasive. Treatment for non-invasive bladder cancer begins with telescopic removal of the cancer under a general or spinal anaesthetic. This operation is called a TURBT, or transurethral resection of bladder tumour. This is often followed by installation of chemicals into the bladder, either chemotherapy or immunotherapy, and this is what this video will, will discuss today. This is then often followed by local anaesthetic cystoscopy follow-up. The treatments that you have for your bladder cancer will be decided by a team of specialists called the Multidisciplinary Team Meeting. Um, they will discuss these treatments and then these options will be discussed with you prior to you having any. Hi, uh, I'm Rachel. I'm one of the urology nurses here out in, in the outpatients. I'm going to be one of the team giving you your um, bladder cancer treatment. Um, there's a team of um, nurses and um, we're all competent capable to give you the treatment and you might see various different faces during your treatment. There are some important instructions to follow prior to arriving. Before you come to hospital, you should try not to drink too much fluid for four hours, particularly if you pass urine frequently. This will allow your urine to be concentrated, which allows you to hold onto the drug in the bladder for longer. When you come in, come to gate 36, and when you come in, we will ask to take a urine sample from you. It's really important that you give that sample when you come to the department, because if you have any infection or blood in the urine, we won't be able to do the treatment that day. Once you've received your treatment, you will need to hold and then empty your bladder within two hours. When the nurse calls you in to have the treatment, she'll be wearing an outfit that looks similar to this, but the only added extra is the mask. See, not too scary. BCG is an immunotherapy drug which is inserted into the bladder via the catheter. It's given once a week for six weeks. That is followed by a six week break. And then again in three week cycles over a period of about a year. Once urinary tract infection and bleeding have been ruled out, you'll be invited into the clinic room where the nurse will ask you to lower or remove your underwear. You'll then be asked to lay on the couch and you'll be covered in some sterile drapes. The nurse will then clean your genitalia just to reduce any risk of infection. The nurse will then introduce a catheter into your bladder and this catheter is used as a vessel for the medication to go into the bladder. Once the medication has been given, we will then remove the catheter immediately. Mitomycin C is a chemotherapy drug that is placed into the bladder via a catheter. Although it is chemotherapy, patients will not experience the common side effects associated with chemotherapy, such as hair loss, nausea and vomiting, and it's given once a week for six weeks. You may then require further treatments in the future, and this will be discussed with you with your urology team. Just a heads up, your urine will be purple after the treatment. Hello, my name is Sonia. I'm one of the urology nurses and I'll be giving you your heating mitomycin C treatment. Heated mitomycin C is inserted into your bladder via a catheter, while a small microwave probe heats up the fluid to 43 degrees. You will feel your bladder getting warm, but you won't burn your bladder. You may receive this treatment if BCG treatment does not work for you, or in certain situations where BCG cannot be given. Heating mitomycin C seems to make the cancer cells more sensitive to the chemotherapy. Once an infection and bleeding has been ruled out, the nurse will invite you to the clinical room 
where you'll be asked to remove your underwear. Nurse will then put a sterile drape over you and clean your genitalia. A catheter will then be inserted into your bladder and attached to the giving set, which has the microwavable probe which will heat up the fluid. This is then attached to the machine, which will warm up the fluid to 43 degrees. The treatment will last for an hour. At the end of the treatment, the, your bladder will be emptied and the catheter removed. For the next six hours after treatment, you will need to take some precautions. These include avoid urine splashing on the toilet seat and it's probably a good idea to sit down when you pee. Avoid getting urine on your hands and if you do, wash them thoroughly. After passing urine, put bleach into the toilet and leave it for 15 minutes to destroy the chemical. Men should wear a condom during sex and female patients should ask their partner to wear a condom. I first started treatment oh, back April. I was diagnosed um, in March. Um, I've had one operation to remove the tumour. I've had another operation to uh, take biopsies following that. And I've had the first five weeks of BCG treatment. I've got another week this week. Uh, the BCG treatment, uh, yeah, it's been a bit up and down. The, the, the first week I, I contracted a, a water infection. Um, which I didn't, I ignored a bit. Um, I guess that um, I didn't really sort of understand how it was going to hit me. Uh, consequently, I ended up with three weeks in bed through not acting quick enough. Um, the normal weekly treatment has left me fatigued for a couple of days. Uh, there's been a fair bit of bladder pain, um, which generally lasts the first day or so. Uh, generally, by the fourth day, I'm generally back to normal. With the side effects, would you know who to contact? Uh, I would know who to contact, yes, because I was given the, the details. Uh, I was given the nurse's number here, uh, the 111 number, and also I was given the district nurse's number. So, so yes, I was given that, that details. Hopefully, we've explained some of the treatments for bladder cancer to you today. These treatments are generally very effective, but can sometimes give you side effects. Mitomycin is generally well tolerated, but can sometimes cause urinary symptoms or a rash on your hands and feet. BCG is more likely to give side effects, such as bladder pain or urinary symptoms, but most of these are reversible and short-lived. Once you have had the treatment, you will have ongoing surveillance with your bladder cancer team. If you have any problems at all during your treatment or would like to talk to someone, there are various avenues available. You can call our cancer nurse specialist team. The Macmillan Centre is on site at MBT to visit. And there is also a local bladder cancer support group.